Well, well, it's finally happened. We're finally here. Oh boy, the reaction of a lifetime from all the SpongeBob trailers he's put out. Narmik, I can't believe you actually did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to react to SpongeBob Anime Episode 1. Bubble Bass arc. Bubble Bass, you know, the guy from the Pickles episode, and, you know, SpongeBob was really full of confidence and joy making those Krabby Patties for everybody to enjoy. But then the dastardly, ugly, fat, geeky, glasses wearing, over critical, hyper analytical Bubble Bask shows up. And dastardly crushes Spongebob's dreams by telling Spongebob he forgot the pickles. This broke Spongebob. This put Spongebob in a rut. People lost faith in Spongebob. He had to hang up his spatula. But lo and behold, Mr. Grabs dug him out from that dirt, boosted his confidence back up, and he got back up. He came back and kicked Bubble Bass in his... I'm not gonna say it, because I don't want to get, you know, you know what? And Bubble Bass, that cheating, lying son of a biscuit, tried to hide the pickles under his tongue. That's what he does. That, that is what he does. He, he's a lying snake in the grass. So, yeah, I, you know, I'm okay with this. I am actually okay with... With Bubble Bass being the first arc. You know, I, I, I could think of other arcs, you know, but this, I, I could definitely see this being something good, you know? But I've rambled on long enough. This is gonna be good. I can't wait to see what. <laughs> I'm just, I just wanna see what he comes up with, honestly. I, I really wanna see what he comes up with with this. It's original animation. I don't even wanna think how long it takes, cause I'm now, I'm starting to get into animation now more, and I'm seeing the struggles, and it's just this, this. I assume just took a lot of work and a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of effort. So, guys, if you can, please, I cannot tr stress this enough. I uh, bit my tongue. Um, please always go support the official release. Links are in the descriptions down below. Please go give this guy a look. Follow, like, do whatever. Let's check this out. Here we go. Anarmic Animation. Daddy's little helpers. Oh, from the cast call. By the way, guys, go check out my cast call as well. There it is. Here we go. SpongeBob, SpongeBob you come! I came as soon as I heard the Krusty Krab was in trouble. What happened? Where's Bubba Bast? He's gone. He's stronger than I ever seen him. I'm sorry, I, I'm so into the English dub. <laughs> His goal was the secret formula when he attacked, he was not Chris Krab. He even knew the five pickled patty. My secret formula originated from the Krabby Patty of Darkness! <laughs> the backstory! There's only a few in this world who knows of its existence! Yet, how did he... Unless... He defeated Mr. Krabs? Well, let's get out there and get it back! I already sent Mr. Squidward. He was trying to stop Bubble Bass before he crossed into Jellyfish Fields. You... you sent him to go alone?! You must have sent him to snatch his... Oh god. I can't read it so fast. But I'm really following the story here. <laughs> and Mr. Squidward, <laughs> he can take the <laughs> deployment here, knowing the full risks. Oh. Come on, Mr. Krabs! Don't be like that! Why is it so tense? Hey, he really captured the intensity of these moments. Ah, oh, big meaty, but you hit him with the big meaty claws! Not the big meaty claws! They were not lies. You do anything for a bug. SpongeBob! One day, lad, you'll learn the truth. The horrible power that lies with the five pickle patty and all the dark secrets are. <laughs> I have sacrificed everything to protect your lad. No matter what the cost. Don't do anything reckless. He does care! 
the Bubble Bass arc. We're here, guys. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're getting the intro. Hey, the worm, the Alaskan bull worm. Just flipping those patties. Look at Bubble Bass with all that ass. Oh, darn it, I said it. Why is Sandy so fat? I'm not surprised she's an she's been animated by. Ah, Doodle Bob. You guys know me. I'm a. I'm assuming that's an evil Patrick. I'm just gonna assume that's it. Of course, those two are hooking up. You guys know me. I'm a huge SpongeBob fan, specifically from seasons one through three and four through six. So I'm gonna know all the references. I die of pie. I die of pie. I love that episode. Larry Dennis. It's like Dutchman and Plankton! Let's go, Doodle Bob! Your pencil power can handle the true power of SpongeBob! Like I said, I, I, I'm assuming that's just a, like a dark version of Patrick, because it has the same, you know, outlining as Patrick. Hey! From the Kung Fu Island, Karate Island, Sandy! That's awesome! How did she lose her arm again? I forgot how she lost her arm. But I love she's wearing her karate eye. I love that episode, by the way. Check that out. Hey, it's the princess! Oh, yeah, that's definitely Patrick. He's not, he's not in the shot, so that's definitely Patrick. Oh, rest in peace. Seven Hill, rest in peace. Oh, yeah, like Captain. All right, we're heading into Jellyfish Fields. Damn it! I think I was at home blowing bubbles during this time! That's what you do, SpongeBob! That's. Patrick! Sandy! SpongeBob! <laughs> I've actually seen the Japanese commercials of SpongeBob and the Japanese episode, that's how they call them. So it, they actually do call them SpongeBob. He's fighting for his honor! He seeks strength to protect what he holds dear, and hopes to find courage to the faces of fear. Squidward is proving he has the power to... Do you really believe that load of fish, Paige? You are two of the most powerful sea dwellers I know, and yet you both left him alone! And yet, he said some nonsense about honor and pride? What happened to Epis for... <laughs> I can't! I love all the- I love all the references! Okay, Sandy, you're looking quite thick right now. Why is Patrick being this wise samurai? <laughs> it actually fits him, I like it! And their looks are both... ...extremely attractive. <laughs> okay, you got a little humor there. The prophecy of the ugly bard- Really the ugly barnacle, we're going to- <laughs> That I smell, God. These references, man, I can't get enough of them. Oh, we, I can't get enough of this. I'm loving this. <laughs> I am loving this. See, this is how you do a SpongeBob anime. Squidward! Hey, we got the little transition! Uh, sir? No, why, why are you looking at me like that? I, I don't feel comfortable. Sir, no, sir. SpongeBob anime t shirts and more. Okay, I I'll buy it! No, Stop looking at me! No. Guys, buy the t shirts, please! Okay, you guys see that? Go to that, buy the shirts! Stop looking at me! Okay, thank you! Back! I, I will support! More animations like this. I will! Just stop looking into my soul! At this cool stuff. I will! Just. I can hear his footsteps. I won't let him take me. What? Be gone! Ah! What the hell? What the hell, man? Okay, let's get back to the action. That was. <sighs> SpongeBob, you barnacle head! What were you? Ah! Ow! 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 He managed to take back the formula. Squidward was truly remarkable. Why'd you come? We're no match for him. 
Like, because I came! Why would you fight him alone? We could have fought together, we could have beaten him! <laughs> and let you take all the glory like usual! I love how they gave Skirt like a, a serious Sasuke, almost Sasuke like, you know? Aww! Better employee, uh, cause he's out that employee of the month episode. I remember that episode. I love, like I said, these references, man. Oh, you gotta be a real SpongeBob fan to get some of this stuff. You ain't gotta catch everything, but if you can catch the core parts, you have my respect. Aww! Because we don't have many friends. Oh. <laughs> don't you don't do that. Don't do this with the sadness. <laughs> but Mr. Krabs do recognize you, Squidward. Ah, oh, don't hit me with that. Come on. And you're making it serious. Squidward? No. No, come on, come on, Squidward. Stop, stop out of it! No! Squidward! Why does Bubble Bass sound like uh, the VA of, Ch of Chomp Ice Japanese VA? He sounds very close to Chomp Ice Japanese VA. I can't be the only one thinking that, right? For you guys who watch Dragon Ball Super. Doesn't he sound a lot like Chompa Chompa's VA? Uh oh. He's injected himself with the power! I wonder is this how they're gonna introduce Bubble Bass? Like maybe the power was so overwhelming and they make. Not Bubble Bass, um, Doodle Bomb. Not Bubble Bass, sorry. Is this how they introduce Doodle Bomb? Like maybe he gets overwhelmed by the power and Doodle Bomb is the manifestation of his anger and his dark side? That'd be a pretty cool way to introduce Doodle Bomb. I think it would be. Well, oh, wow. Well, so that's what we do, but okay. You know what, SpongeBob? You know what? So, oh, so we don't. Okay. Get him. Shut the hell When that music hits, you know business is about to pick up. Yeah! Ooh! Ooh! It'll heal. You'll be fine. You can grow it. Even if he rips it off, you can grow it back. Ah! Oh! What you gonna do now? What you gonna do, Bubble Bass? SpongeBob's about to beat that house! He is the fry cook of a legend. He is the one who will control all and make the perfect Krabby Patty! Giant dance of the world. How's about the Pioneer's joke, Danny Raffle? I know, I know it didn't look like I was paying attention, but he may also made a Pioneer's joke from uh, the pizza episode, which is great. Oh, wow, I like that. I like that. He pulled, he pulled the panel down and said, what? That arm's gone. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do the laugh at least once. <laughs> Yep, we gotta lose that head. Watch your head fall from your body. See, that's what I'm thinking Doodle Bob will be, you know, built from this dark side of SpongeBob. Like, I'm still gonna beat you, you son of a biscuit! You killed my friend! But Squidward! 
Squidward what? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was Squidward. He wasn't, ah, uh, Squid. See, you gave us a scare. Squidward! Just go and wait, would you hold me? <laughs> I feel scared. Get off me! Bo SpongeBob, get off me, you barnacle head! Get off me! SpongeBob! <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed six months of my life well spent. Six months? Wow. This animation, wow. My booty has ever grinded out. Those wow. shirts that you saw in the video are actually real. I am selling some I'm shirts. Let these play out for you guys to listen to. Created by me and my boy Timmy the Thotty. We have a the sale thotty. to celebrate the release of episode one, and on top of that, you can put in the code High Five for an additional five percent off because I love you. The shirts <laughs> are limited, so if you want to support me and the channel, check them out on newmemeland.com. Link on the screen, in the description, and in the pinned You heard them, guys. Check Besides it out. all that jazz, I want to give an absolutely moist thank you to my friend John Wang, who directed the voice actors for the Japanese dub and soon-to-be-released English dub. There's an John English is dub! A professional voice acting teacher who can mold your voice beautifully and holds voice acting workshops. Also, a massive thank you to the voice actors who made this project possible. The music that blessed your ears was created by my amazing friends, Sander, also known as Red, and Seikara. Full soundtracks are on their channels. My buddy Strelok also handled the sound design for the entire episode, and Man had a team behind him! Disappoints. Check them all out in the description below. I highly recommend all of their succulent services. <laughs> and finally, thank you, patrons. You make oh, my Nani pungent. Well, that's all, folks. Bye bye. <laughs> Damn it, Narvik. <laughs> good stuff. Good, good stuff, man. Bravo. Spot on. Spot on. Yeah, that was that was the episode and. I gotta say, I, I really, really enjoyed this. As a SpongeBob fan, this did me proud. As a SpongeBob fan, I'm not talking about them fake SpongeBob fans or the new ones. I'm talking about as an OG SpongeBob fan who've been watching SpongeBob since it first came out in 1999. I love the references. I love how they blended in the humor with like the, the typical anime tropes. I like that kind of stuff. That's how you do a SpongeBob. Episode. It's also he's also adding in his own story. He's not just dropping tropes for the sake of dropping the tropes, you know, or dropping references. Like those are really fun and they're awesome. But I was also very engaged with the story. You know, he did it in a very. This was a very ambiguous episode, so you really don't know what's going on. Like what's the what's the five pickle, you know, patty power or this or that or how Mr. Krabs got it from the Krabby Patty of Darkness, Squidward, you know, Spongebob losing control, Bubble Bath, who, I, I Plankton giving Bubble Bath, you know, this power, well, why did he give it to him? I, I'm sure he wants, he, I mean, he had the formula, like, Plankton's whole point in the original show was to get the Krabby Patty formula. Um, now, whether, well, to be fair, it was never explained if he, um, if Bubble Bath delivered it to Plankton, so he probably gave him this power and then, you know, Bubble Bass steals the formula, gives it back to Plankton. You, I don't really know. So like I said, it's very ambiguous, but it's also very engaging. Sandy was looking thick. I love Patrick. <laughs> it's this wise old samurai with a little bit of a little bit of humor there. That was nice to see. Animation was on point. You know, very shoddy in some areas, but all anime is like that. Um, yeah, I was very engaged. Like, I couldn't help but just talk because i felt like i was i was with it like i was it i was into it i was really really engaged and really into it i love uh Squidward. obviously from what i've seen of the trailers Squidward's gonna go to the dark side they're gonna fight patrick's gonna get damaged i can't wait till we get to those arcs and how he's gonna tell that story because that's the most important thing you know it is a good story and i'm really interested it's, it's like it's like has been hotel or or um or, yeah, it's kind of like that. It has my attention, but it's all. But unlike Hasbro Hotel, which is a more original anime story, he's taking IP and making his own story around it and building something from it. He already has me hooked because I'm a SpongeBob fan. Now he has me hooked because I'm engaged with the story, and um, I just uh, I really like this. Like, you know, I'm I'm really curious to see what they'll do next. 
I don't know how much time it is, but guys, you gotta go support this guy. He worked really hard on it. Um, but guys, also tell me what you thought of this. What were some of your favorite parts? Did you enjoy the references? Did you not? Did you think they were a little bit too much? You know, for someone like me, I do. Especially if, like, <laughs> what happened to F is for friends. You know, everybody knows that episode. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere, anytime at all down here in the deep blue sea. Come on, guy. Any 90s kid or early 2000s kid would know SpongeBob, was, along with Rugrats, Cat Dog, and all the crazy shows back then, was at the top of the peck. Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, you guys know. Avatar, Danny, F I could go on and on. But I, this video is getting too long as it is. So, guys, tell me what you thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Were there parts that uh, you thought could have been in bet that could have been done better? Were there parts that you think um, should have been uh, more epic? Or do you think that like did you just like everything? Or do you think it should have been longer? I I like the length. It wasn't too long. It wasn't too short. Especially like for a, a an original animation. Like, that was, like, my thing with uh, Hasbro Hotel. I thought it was a little too long. I liked it, but it was a little too long for my taste, whereas this was kind of, like, that perfect length for me. Um, but, yeah, that's, just let me know, guys, what you thought. I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comic section down below. If you enjoyed my reaction video, please hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you all in the next reaction. Take care, guys. I love you all. Bye-bye. We are heroes tonight. We